from Melbourne Headache Solutions and I'm here to tell you that despite what you might have been told, you don't have to live with headaches and migraines. Nearly every single person that I see that's had their headaches and migraines for more than a year is told that this is just something that they will have to live with and this just simply isn't true and it actually makes me rather mad. But in this video, I'll explain why you don't have to live with your headaches and migraines anymore. Stick around to this, at the end of this video and I will show you a simple test that can be done where you can work out whether you can get long-lasting relief from your headaches and migraines even if you've had them for 20 years. But before we get started, let me just tell you a bit about myself. For seven years, I suffered with chronic daily headaches that were taking over my life. I felt flat, demotivated, lacking in energy and generally not feeling like myself. I was sick of my pain and wanted better for myself, so I went in search of a different answer. And that's how I came across the Watson Headache Approach. Now, I am headache free, feel like myself again, and headaches don't control my life. Now can you imagine what your life would be like if, like me, you found a long-lasting solution to your headaches and migraines? Thinking, think about waking up feeling refreshed and full of energy, relationships with your loved ones stronger, the grouch inside of you that was there because of the constant pain has disappeared. How would your life be different if you had long-lasting relief from your headaches and migraines? So chances are, if you're still listening to this, you too thought that you would have to live with your headaches and migraines for the rest of your life. For many of you, I'm sure that you've even tried alternate therapies, such as osteopathy, physiotherapy and chiropractics, and they've told you that the pain is coming from your neck, but the treatment has not worked. They made a bold promise, but still the headaches and migraines kept coming. After a while, it's natural to resign yourself to the fact that you're not going to get better. As a result, you're putting up with the pain and it affects you in your everyday life, affecting your relationships, your job, and your overall happiness in life. As time goes on, it's likely that your headaches and migraines will get worse, needing increasing amounts of medication, which have ever-increasing side effects. Well, I'm here to tell you today that for 80 to 90% of you, you don't have to live with your headaches and migraines anymore. So for those of you that have seen alternate practitioners, such as osteos, physios, and chiros, they were actually right. For 80 to 90% of people, the headaches and migraines have a substantial component that is caused by the upper part of their neck. However, what we know was that the treatment to this area was not quite right. It was not precise. It was too aggressive and sometimes it actually made things worse. There is also often a vital component that is overlooked in treatment that leads to the recurrence of headaches and migraines or little to no change at all in your pain. And that is brainstem sensitization caused by neck dysfunctions. The brainstem is the connection between your brain and your spinal cord, which houses things such as your vomit center, the origins of your cranial nerves, which are responsible for sight, sound, and smell, and are responsible for your balance. Therefore, when your brainstem is sensitized, it explains all of the associated symptoms you can experience with a migraine, such as nausea, dizziness, vomiting, light, sound, and smell sensitivity. The nerves of the face also feed into this area, which explains the head pain you experience during a, head, a headache or a migraine. Therefore, not only do you need to address the neck dysfunctions, but you also need to address the underlying disorder of a headache and migraine, which is that brainstem sensitization. Now, to get an accurate diagnosis to see whether your headaches and migraines are caused by the upper part of the neck, we need to do a confirmation assessment, where we attempt to reproduce some of the familiar sensations of your headache and migraine in the clinic. If we are able to successfully reproduce your symptoms in the clinic by gently pressing on certain parts of your upper neck, this is a very strong evidence that your neck is contributing significantly to your headaches and migraines and should respond well to treatment. Now treatment to the problem area needs to be extremely precise. I've found that the Watson Headache Approach to be the most precise assessment and treatment of headaches and migraines to offer the best chance of success. It is the only form of manual therapy with research to back it that addresses the underlying disorder of migraines, which is brainstem sensitization. The treatment is gentle and effective and actually targets the cause of your headaches and migraines. So I hope the information that I've gone through today has been valuable. And if you think that you shouldn't have to put up with your headaches and migraines anymore, take this quick quiz to see if your headaches and migraines are coming from the upper part of your neck. If you want to talk to me directly though, you can book in a 15 minute phone call. In this call, we want to determine if your headaches and migraines are coming from your neck or not, and if it is, what steps you can take to claim back your life from your headaches and migraines. This is Dr. Beth.